So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua, could very well lose his IBF heavyweight title in the next couple of weeks. If he signs for the Vladimir Klitschko rematch, if Vladimir Klitschko activates his rematch clause that was in the contract from the first fight because Joshua's mandatory challenger Kubrat Pulev and his team are apparently standing firm they want their shot at the IBF heavyweight title and they don't think Anthony Joshua should just be allowed to step over them to face Vladimir Klitschko in a rematch Eddie Hearn the promoter of Anthony Joshua has already put in a special exemption to the IBF basically asking them a favour to let Anthony Joshua have one more voluntary defence against Vladimir Klitschko and then fight Kubat Pulev immediately after because Anthony Joshua at some point will have to face Kubat Pulev there's no getting out of that unless he is stripped of his IBF title or unless he vacates it he will have to fight Kubat Pulev he is the mandatory and Eddie Hearn has played this very smart because apparently the IBF send the letter out to Kubat Pulev because he's the mandatory challenger and basically tell him and his team to start negotiations with Anthony Joshua for the title fight they have like 28 days or something like that but Eddie Hearn has used his brain here and he sent this exemption out before Pulev and his team have received this letter because if he didn't do that Kubat Pulev and his team could have just said we don't want to negotiate let's put this fight straight to purse bids and then the fight has to be made then or Anthony Joshua gets stripped there's no getting out of it so Eddie Hearn has used his brain by sending a special exemption off before this letter has been sent out to Kubat Pulev and his team so I don't think Eddie Hearn and Saul and Promotions are gonna come up with a solution here I think the IBF are going to make a ruling and that's why I'm saying Anthony Joshua could very well lose this IBF title because we know the IBF title and we know that the IBF title and the governing body are very very strict when it comes to mandatories and stuff like that like I said in a previous video the Julius and Dongo Terence Crawford fight if that fight happens it won't be an undisputed title fight now because if Julius and Dongo signs for Terence Crawford then he's going to be stripped of his IBF title because he's not fighting his manager at a guy called Sergei Lipnets, like I said in a previous video. So, yeah, another messy situation with the IBF. Hopefully this gets sorted out in the next couple of weeks and hopefully we know what's happening with Vladimir Klitschko. Is he going to face Anthony Joshua? Because if not, then Anthony Joshua is going to have to face Kubat Pulev. Simple as that, unless he wants to lose his IBF title. So, yeah. That is that situation. Comment below your opinion below. What do you guys think of this situation? Do you think it's as messy as I think it is? Do you think there's a solution to this? What do you guys think? It's JM, it's Speedboxing.